With your boy. Okay. How's, how's time, the man? spot? This shit bomb. Yeah? Dude, this shit bomb. It's fire. It's yeah. definitely fire, yeah. It's authentic. Fire. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dine or Ditch. With Johnny today, Mark is out of the office. He's hanging out with his, his lady. So we're on the search for uh, a burger today. We're gonna we're gonna try to find the best burger in the valley. Or in the world. You never know what we're gonna find. So here we go. We're on Reseda Boulevard in the San Fernando Valley. I just want to point out there there is all of these little Vietnam almost. Ba me right there. There's some pho. There's all kinds of these like little uh, hole in the wall Vietnamese places that we should definitely try out. I've actually never had ba me. What what wait, what the f are we going for a burger for then? You've never had ba me. Never had ba me. Oh doggy. Okay, we just passed a place. El Pollo um, Picante. Oh, there's another. There's two hole in the walls here. So we just passed a place called Shaka Burger. And here, I'll show you the outside right now. Hey, what's happening, baby? It's good. Live out here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? With your boy. It's good. How's, how's the spot? This shit bomb. Yeah? Dude, this shit bomb. It's fire. It's yeah. definitely fire, yeah. It's authentic. Fire. That's all natural. Any suggestions oh, you gonna love on, this uh, place. Any suggestions on anything to eat? Oh man, I'm a big Royale. fish burger, but the Shaka Royale is the one. This used to be um, Johnny, yeah, Johnny it's Pacific. Over there now. Yeah, the yeah this used to be a different restaurant where they had like empanadas and stuff like it's that. It's over there. They moved? Yeah. Right across still the thing? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's try a burger. Okay, so these are the truffle fries. Thick cut. Very thick cut. Typically not a fan because they're usually on the more dry side. But yeah, Johnny's over there. Give me this. Not overly salty, but that being the case, I am finding myself kind of dipping the fry on this extra salt that's on the side of the paper. So this is the Shaka burger. It's a grass-fed patty with tomato. I added some avocado and I actually added um, American cheese, which is probably a weird thing to do given we have the avocado on there. Typically it's like cheddar would go better, but um, I'm a huge American cheese fan, so let's let's dig in. All right, let's break it down. It's very good. Super soft bun, which is great. They didn't make the rookie mistake and not toast the bun before they put all the condiments on it, so it's still um, has a crunch to it, as, um, but that soft factor as well. It is back in Hawaiian bun. The point I do want to bring up is you did ask for their like signature burger, right? Mm -hmm. So when I'm coming to a restaurant that boasts itself having a certain type of food, right? It's called Hawaiian. When they have their signature burger, I'd expect them to really push the the grilled pineapple, the teriyaki, the spam on the burger. But instead, their their signature burger it has, doesn't have any of that on it. That there's no nothing Hawaiian besides the bun, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. They do offer grilled pineapple, grilled spam. Either way, still a great burger. All right, so we're going for it. First bite on the burger here for me. Okay. Now I got mine with bacon, avocado, looks like onions. Everything's looking really good. Let's just give this a rip. Yeah, okay. So the mustard is a highlight. Something I wasn't anticipating. The bun's kind of sweet, it's very crispy. The meat's cooked perfectly, actually. Not too rare, not overdone, very juicy. As you can probably see, it's getting all over the place. Overall flavor, just dead on for what I was looking for for lunch today. I'm gonna get down on this, very juicy. The onions are not overpowering. Like, one of the things that ends up happening a lot of times when you eat a burger that's got onion on it, is the onion ends up overpowering. And with this, that's totally not the case. Just an overall very good flavor pro profile. Uh, big, thick cuts of avocado. Crispy, really, really, really crispy, crunchy bacon. And like I said, the mustard on the burger is just setting it off. Even the lettuce is good. Now, if you're looking for a good burger, this is the spot. Something I want to point out on what they're doing with the burgers, they're actually using red onions. A lot of burger places you'll go to, they use yellow onions or white onions. It's a really strong flavor profile, but I always prefer red because they're a little bit more subtle but you still get that, that good onion taste. Okay, so one major point that we didn't bring up yet is the actual patty, the actual burger. Unfortunately, 
it is a frozen patty, which is typical for a lot of you know small restaurants like this. I don't expect everybody to have fresh, um, non-frozen patties all the time. You know, it, 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 it's one of those patties that come in like the big stacks, of just like bricks of the patties. The reason I know this, it's a perfect, perfect yeah, cut. It's like yeah, it's it's too perfect. It's it's. You have the, the roof here, and then you have the wall here. That's just a dead giveaway that it was previously just frozen from a brick. We're gonna step outside the final consensus. Thank you. It was good, it was really good, yeah. Thank you guys. So overall, the food was really good. Not necessarily having that Hawaiian vibe that you would have anticipated going to what's marked as a looks like Hawaiian burger style. Well, it's coin. called Hawaiian Shaka Burger. Yeah, no pineapple. No pineapple or anything like that on the burger, but it doesn't mean that it was a bad burger. Just, um, I'm sure if there's something you're looking for like that, they've got it. I mean, we saw it on the menu. Um, we just, we didn't end up going. The signature burger, the Shaka burger, didn't have pineapple on it, didn't have teriyaki or anything like that. Um, no chicken, no spam, which is not a bad thing. It's still, it was still a good spot. Overall, the location, the environment of everything, the food, yeah, it was good. It's definitely on point for me. Uh, yeah, again, my only note really is this, the, the frozen patty. It's 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 a burger place, right? It's, it's a Hawaiian chocolate burger. You should pride yourself on your burgers. And again, the protein, the meat, is always the star of the dish. It, in this case, it wasn't the star. Honestly, I had a, I had a better time eating the avocado that was in there, which was perfectly ripe. I, I just, I feel like there's, we're in LA, there's plenty of, of butchers and, and places to avail where you can get fresh meat. That, that would be the only downside. That's it. Um, but still, to that same testament, I would eat here again. I would definitely eat here again, and I probably will eat here again. Yep. So, so this is a, a dime. This is a dime. Got another dime. That's two dimes in the books. All right. All right. We'll see you Thanks later. Thanks for watching, guys.